Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw the level 40 irritator from Jurassic World game. So this is a dinosaur that one of you requested I believe. So now I'm going to teach you all how to draw it. So we're going to, this, we're going to put in a faint outline to start off with. This will be the body. It's got a long snout shaped head similar to Spinosaurus. Thin neck, big legs that will be bent. So I realize this is the first dinosaur from Jurassic World, the game, that I've drawn full, that I'm going to draw full body. I usually draw them in their pose while they're in their habitat. And this is actually going to be a full side view of our irritator. And the tail, however, will not it'll be going off into the distance. So I apologize if this is a little bit too quick. I'm just going a rough outline like so for our ear tear. So yeah, I'm going to be working from left to right so as not to smudge and so I don't block stuff with my hand since this is not a very large drawing. So tail is quite simple except if you're drawing a full tail it will take a while and that's usually the what makes the tail the hardest part or well not the hardest part that's the only factor that makes the tail hard to draw so the irritator does have stripes on its tail so we'll put those in stripes coming up from the bottom of the tail and the top So we'll just color these all in black. The irritator has very strange colors. If you, I'm sure most of you know what it looks like, but a lot of it's blue and orange and a dark shade of brown. It's never been a personal favorite of mine, but I know a lot of people like irritator. If people didn't like your tear, they wouldn't have requested for me to draw it. So, obviously, a lot of people care for your tear. So, we'll put in a little bit more lines to give it some more shape. So, I am aware that I'm sure some people are going to comment on my, this video. I'm aware that the new boss battle. Triceratops came out. I forgot the name of, <laughs> of its correct name. But I will have a video on it coming out sometime in December. It's just so you guys know. So now we'll be working on the leg. Pretty much a normal dinosaur leg. It's got a spike protruding from its ankle like a lot of the dinosaurs from Jurassic World the game. And it has normal dinosaur feet, which I assume a lot of you are accustomed to drawing. They're not that hard. Just put in the claws. And I always put scales on the upper part of the dinosaur feet. So put a bit of shading in there and we'll make the bottom of the feet more padded like so. Take my eraser pencil and erase the lines we don't necessarily need just to clean up the drawing a bit. Since this is a smaller drawing we're moving at a faster pace but it all depends on how big your drawing is and or how big your paper is so it might take you longer to follow along just because you have a bigger paper so if I'm rushing I apologize because I usually draw a little bit bigger but 
I always have to be careful when I'm doing my outline because sometimes I'll make it too big and we won't be able to fit everything on the piece of paper. So we'll put in a little bit more refinement in our drawing. And as I always say, feel free to add a few scales that always gives the dinosaur picture a uh, higher level of this just makes it look better in short so put some shading along the leg and the leg also has stripes coming down across it so put those in And we will add the sail as soon as we're done with this leg. I just don't want you guys to fret that I'm not going to put it on. <laughs> and I also want to sort of dedicate this drawing to my 400 subscribers. I'd like to thank you all for coming on this long journey with me. I've been YouTubing now for around eight months, and it's been really fun. And I plan to continue, um, not forever, but like, yeah, for a while. <laughs> I'm just, I love doing it, so. And I hope you guys all like it too, and it'll, I'll have a lot of new things to draw when the new Jurassic World comes out, so. Looking forward to that, and I'm sure that they might even have a new game, I don't know. But, or they might just have like a bunch of additions to the old one. But since we don't know where it's going to, the new Jurassic World is going to take place, it could be on a different island or something like that. Like, it's hard to tell. So that's pretty good for our leg. Now we can put in the sail. It's not very large at all compared to Spinosaurus, but still a little bit bigger than most dinosaurs. So the body actually, I decided, is going to be a little bit longer than I first planned. We still have a lot of room on the paper as well. That's always why it's good to make your outline very light so you can easily erase and change your mind and it won't affect you too much. So put these lines which are the bone represent or the bones would be that support the sail. And they do have spikes on the top. Like top of each one has a spike. It looks a little bit rough on the top. So, so we'll give it a rough texture like that. And I'll put in the spikes. Again, I apologize if I'm going a little bit too fast. So widen the these lines here. Now we'll put in the belly and the backbone, which would be right around there. Of course, you have to leave room for the shoulder blade. It should be coming down here to connect to the arms. But we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. So now that I've put in a bit of shading, 
on the belly we can begin adding a little bit of texture to our um, irritator spelly. That can include scales, just random lines up and across, cross hatching across <laughs> the belly, and yeah, mo mostly that. Or and you can also use other techniques, like just shading the bottom of the belly slightly with your pencil. Show the roundness. Like so. And of course, we have to put in the stripes. The stripes that um, go across the back and the belly. And also there are some more stripes that come up similar in the tail. So the whole belly is actually dark. Not just because of the shadows, it's actually dark. So we'll have to put that in like so. And now we can put in our other leg, which will also be quite shaded. We can add some grass. Just realized we need to put our irritator in a landscape. So it's better to put the grass in before before you put in the feet. So the grass can be covering the feet, like so. This is a good time to use your eraser for certain spots. Just put random stalks of grass there. And now I can shade in this entire leg. Put that spike in there. Not too dark, but just a lighter shade than the other leg. Put something like that. There, now we can put the deadly meat hooks of arms that <laughs> that our irritator has. Its arms are quite large. Large for meat eater, in it anyways. Meat eaters didn't really have long arms. It's got three claws. So we add some texture to that hand and the arms. We'll erase the lines that we didn't need. And the other arm is basically parallel to this one. So just it's basically like a shadow of the first one. So you can put that in there. Like so. Just to simplify things up a bit. So put in the shoulder blade. Add some texture. Maybe a few scales. Like so. And now for the neck. It's got a 
short, but rather thin neck. It's got some flabby skin there, hanging from the neck, which makes it look more reptilian. And last but not least, after we finish the neck, is going to be the head, which I usually start off with in most of my videos. But this video is an exception. I usually do my videos mid-afternoon, but... Or well, not mid-afternoon, late afternoon. Around 3, 3 30, 4 o'clock. But now that the days are becoming shorter, it's getting dark outside, so I have to use... Um, man-made light, which usually doesn't look as good as outdoor light, if you get what I mean. So now I can put in the snout of our irritator. This is very similar to Spinosaurus. It's got this knob on the at front of the snout cool feature and also it's similar to Spinosaurus a spike type thing that goes right in between the eyes or above the eyes I guess so it's got several spikes on its neck there and it's got its nose up here which is a weird trait and its jaws are a little bit um, thicker than that of Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus would have been a little bit thinner and perhaps longer. But the real irritator people know very little about. They just found like a skull and a few other fragments and some people might think it might belong to another species or something. Like it could be a Sukumimus or... But then the fact that they found it in South America is kind of weird, so... I think it's South America, I'm pretty sure. So now we can put in the eye area. Got a big yellow eye. Put some refinement around it. Irritator is a very cool looking dinosaur, as you can see. I'm gonna add some texture to the jaw. Not the jaw, the snout. Two scales will never hurt. And now we can continue to the bottom jaw which will only take us a whiff of time this jaw is slightly open which will expose a few of its deadly teeth which is good we always need teeth in our videos it's just mandatory we need teeth <laughs> people always are like Danny why do you my friends are like, all your drawings have teeth. Like, all of them. Even the ones you do of Sorry Man and <laughs> characters from The Hobbit and stuff like that. Of course humans have teeth. Like, almost all living organisms have teeth. And without them, you'd be not really happy. Couldn't eat very well and... Teeth are important, even though a lot of times they're used to kill, <laughs> like in the cases of dinosaurs, or the meat-eating dinosaurs, at least. But if you think about it, the plant-eating dinosaurs are sort of killing plants, so they use their teeth to kill plants. <laughs> so, yeah, folks, this is the level 40 irritator
from Jurassic World the game. And be sure to sign the picture. Put the date. Soon I'm going to be signing the 2017. I haven't done that. Sorry. I'm going to. You didn't see me sign it. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna cover this. Oh, I didn't finish the tail. Well, anyways. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share it. Press the like button. Or press the little hand that has the thumbs up like this. Don't press the thumbs down. <laughs> and uh, subscribe right here. And I'll see you all in the next video. I hope the person who requested Irritator from Jurassic World the Game has enjoyed this video. And yeah, thanks for watching.